Good morning, Matsu River. Good morning. Good morning. Now look at that. Well, good morning, everyone. I have to say that this is the best way to wake up in the morning. Last night we could hear this beautiful river flowing and I slept so good. I didn't even want to get up. The sun is shining and it's a beautiful day. I'm super excited to go where we're headed next and show our friends where we're going. Should I tell you? No, let's just wait and see. Anyway, Jim made the coffee and since we're not having breakfast, but that's okay. Um, I get to sit here and watch this all day long. No stress. No worries. So Hunter likes, she's chilling and looking at the water too. She looks happy. Are you happy? <laughs> Jim put up my first piece of art for the van this morning and we got it in Denali National Park by an artist and photographer named Shane Lamb. This is my black wolf. I'll put it right here over the cabinet. And when I walked into Three Bears Gallery in Denali National Park, it's the first thing I saw. My eyes locked directly onto his. And I fell in love. We've stuck it up with 3M tape, some really heavy duty stuff, and it's very lightweight. It sticks out a little bit, which I actually kind of like that 3D effect. Right. He's gorgeous. And just another little added touch for um, to make it feel a little like home is my dream catcher. And it was made in Canada. It's just the little things that make it cozy in here. We spent the night boondocking alongside the Matanuska River and um, how do you always talk about moon docking? Moon docking. Because campgrounds are just, you know, only a necessity sometimes every now and then. What, twice? Um, so yeah, it, it was a great night. And if you're coming to Alaska or even if you live here, our little spot that we found was just outside the town of Sutton about an hour outside of Anchorage and a short drive out there and it made us feel like we were in the middle of nowhere. There were a few other people out with us but it's gorgeous. Waking up to that river was, um, I laid there this morning for a good hour just watching the river out the back doors. It's gorgeous. We are headed up to Hatcher's Pass right now to Independence Mine. We're going to take Owen and Lynn and Maggie up there. Just, just walking around. It was gorgeous when we woke up this morning and it looks like it's sprinkling, sprinkling rain a little bit. So. It's a good thing. With all the forest fires, we need some rain. It's, it, it's been bad. Somebody just asked me how we're dealing with the heat and the fires. and All we can really do right now is a little rain dance and pray for rain. Nice to see. Cooled off for sure. I think it's about 65 degrees today. Let's spot over here though. I'm curious. 
just in the past five miles we've been saying one of these days we'll go there and go there there's a little waterfall and a hike and we haven't been there so, turning down palmer fish hook road headed to independence mine we have uh, black pearl travado behind us and um, band trekking is behind us as well so we're just taking our time because want them to um, stay right behind us, but yeah, Nick from Black Pearl Travato just kept going. I think he's headed into Anchorage to get some stuff done and check out Anchorage. Uh, Both of their vans got pretty beat up doing the dolphin. So. They have a little work to do on them. I think Nick's going to a tire shop and um, getting some work done on his generator. And his Truma system. He has no hot water in it. Oh, I didn't know that. So the Dalton Highway can be pretty hard on your vehicle for sure. And I think one of the tips that we left out when we were talking about the Dalton is you have to take it slow. You know, you can't just go up there and get the picture and go back. You have to enjoy every moment of it. Just drive a little while and then stop, enjoy the scenery. And for those who don't see the wildlife and stuff, usually it's because you're going too fast. You gotta stop and take a look around and just enjoy it. There's no point in doing a trip like the Dalton if you're not gonna take your time. It's nice to see the rain. Maybe a little bit of a rainy hike up there. Oh, the sun's shining over there, so we'll see. I'm not worried about it. So this is Palmer Fishhook Road. There's a lot of cool places out here, little houses. In fact, my friend built that house that I just showed you. I haven't seen her in about 15 years, but they built it from the ground up and love it farm country out here. The drive up to Hatcher's Pass is a beautiful drive. There's this gateway scenic overlook that we usually stop at, but maybe we'll do that on the way back. No, we're oh, we're stopping. Yay. It's gorgeous. We'll also show you in a little bit um, how cool the road is if you enjoy driving or even on motorcycles. The first time I came up this way with Jim was on his motorcycle and I think it's when I decided I actually kind of liked him. Looks like Owen and Lynn and Jim have made some friends already while I was out playing in the wood in the woods. Look who we found. Right here at Hatcher's Pass, right in the middle of nowhere. So we've got 
Adventure Where You Find It, Wings and Wheels Alaska, and trekking. How cool is that? This is a small world. It's Adventure Where You Find It. <laughs> They're free. Ember's looking for water. This hike has been so beautiful. The dogs are super happy. Making up some lunch here before we head up to the mine. Our standard turkey sandwich, cheese, a little bit of spicy mustard. Good? Huh. 